right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to student checkup uh, word 1-3. So this is the third part in this uh, first word unit and we're on the assignment page here. So what we need to do is we need to go to, again, we need to go to our college technology and survival kit. Uh, I'm using the second revised preliminary edition and it is on page 130 and 131. And um, so uh, there's some things we're gonna do. We're gonna work through this real quick. And to begin with, you need to open up your uh, assignment or your Word document that you did just did for the last assignment. So let me show you another way to do that. You can go and look through your file explorer. Uh, you can also open up Word. So I'm gonna click on this uh, and open up Word. From the beginning, I'm in Word 365. Okay, so now what I can do is you see over here on the left side, right, it shows the recent documents that were opened. So this one on top is the one I most recently opened and that's the one I need. And then I'm going to, right from the beginning, I'm going to hit Control A. It's going to select everything on there. And then I'm going to go to the Home tab, which I'm already on. And I'm going to select the font as Arial. And I'm going to use a 12-point font on this. So everything's going to be the same. I'm going to switch it over to that. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go click right here and I'm just going to use, I'm going to select the first, um, the first line here, which is really the first paragraph when you think about it. It's just a really short one, my title line here. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to reformat uh, this by going to styles. So here's my styles right here. So I can see right on there that there is the title style, and that's the one I'm going to choose. If you don't see that right off the bat, you may select this uh, more arrow, and it'll give you more titles to choose from as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, the title slide, and you can see how that changes that line. Uh, click the font launcher, which is this little arrow right here at the on the bottom right corner of the font area on the ribbon. So there's my font launcher and it says I need to switch my font size here. This is uh, to 22 and my font style to italic and I'm going to change my font color to blue accent one darker 25 percent. So what that means is as I click on my font color here I'm going to click the down arrow. I can see that I have blue here, right? So as I go over it and hover and stay, you can see the blue accent number one. As I go down the row, it's blue accent number one, and it says how much lighter it is, right? So I'm going to go down to the, it says I need uh, lighter or darker 25%, right? So that is it right there, the second one up from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then I'm going to press OK. Control A again to select everything. And then I'm going to click the paragraph launcher. So here's my paragraph area on the, the ribbon. I'm going to select the launcher down here on the bottom right corner of that area. I'm going to change the line spacing uh, before and after to six point. I'm going to go ahead and put six there and six is there and then I'm going to change the line spacing to 1.5 and then I'm going to click OK on that one so you can see how it changes the spacing here in my uh, paragraphs the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select it says the home page that is incorrect so the textbook has a few errors in it right and so one thing you can do if you find an error in the textbook, definitely let me know. Uh, but what you can do is you can go out um, and just Google, right, what we're looking for. So in this case, it says select the Home tab and click on the Cover page, right? So if you, if you go out to Google and you uh, search 
cover page in Word, right, it will tell you that the cover page actually is in the on the insert tab, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. And so it's on the insert. So I'm going to go to my insert tab and there's cover page right there. Go ahead and select that. It gives me all the different styles. And the Wisp cover page is the one on the very bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So there is my Wisp cover page. It says in the date parameters right here. So I can click on that and hit the drop down. Go to my current date and select that. Then I need to go to the title parameter, document title right here. You can see I click on it and it, and it kind of grays out, right? So it has gray on it. That means it's selected and I can go ahead and type in there. So I'm going to go ahead and type what it says to put in there. There's the title. I'm going to delete the subtitle here. There's my name. My name is already in the author parameter. If you need to put it in there, you need to, you can do that. In the company name, it says to go ahead and put the school name. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit control end and it's going to take me all the way down to the bottom here. If you, uh, again, if you have a keyboard that doesn't uh, have that uh, really there for you, you can just scroll down to the bottom and click, right? So your cursor's at the bottom there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and insert a smart art. So we're already on insert. That's where we ended up. So we need to be on the insert tab and we're going to select smart art. And this is going to be in the list area. So on the left side on the smart art uh, window, we're going to click on list and we're going to go down over here to a uh, smart art. Okay. Again, so we're, we're here in list in uh, choose a smart graphic. We're going to go down here to um, the graphic component. That is the, that is the horizontal picture list right there. That's the one right there. And we're going to click OK. OK, so now what, we're, what we need to do is we need to put, so in the textbook it has kind of a layout of what you're supposed to put in there. I'm going to go ahead and put the text in first. So you can see over here on the left side it has these little areas that you can just throw the text into. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and do is Brownlee Dam. The next one is, okay, so, so now we need to get the pictures in there. So where are the pictures, right? So we're going to, we're going to go look at that really quick. So they're back here in canvas. So there are the pictures right here. The three pictures that we need are here. And so I'm in Chrome. I, you know, you can be in any browser that you want to, but the idea is this. So you're going to click on the links and the links are going to download uh, the image. Okay. So you need to, so you're going to download the images. There is no zip file in this. So the, the textbook says there's a zip file. Don't worry about the zip file, the canvas. Uh, we have the pictures individually here. You don't have to worry about unzipping a file. So, so for example, we're going to click on Brownlee. Let's do that here. And, uh, in, in Chrome, Brownlee, the picture is going to come up here down on the bottom left corner. So what it's doing is it, is it downloads typically in a Windows setting. It's going to be in your download folder. And I'll show you where that is if you're on the Windows. If you're on another platform, then it's going to be normally where you download stuff off the Internet, where that ends up, right, in your file system. That's where it's going to be. So probably downloads there as well. So Brownlee's there. I'm going to go ahead and click on Hell's Canyon and download it. And Oxbow as well and download it. Okay. So from this window, you can go ahead and click on, you see these little arrows? Uh, you can go ahead and click on those and say show in folder, right? So what that's going to do is that's going to uh, open my uh, downloads um, folder and it, it's going to have them there. I see them, they're actually in uh, large icons. I can view them in list as well, right? And we can also do it in details view. So in the details view, it's kind of nice because you can click on the date and it will bring up, if I do this correctly, it's going to bring up the 
most recent items that I just downloaded up on top, right? So I'll bring them up. So as I click on that date, so Oxbow, Hell's Canyon, Brownlee. I did this before I was just fiddling around with it. So I have a couple extras in there, but that's where they are. So now I can go, okay. If you want to, something to keep kind of things in order is you can actually copy these and then you can move them over to your file folder system that we set up in the first week of the class and you can have them in there for uh, future use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So here I am, I'm, I'm holding down control and I'm clicking on the uh, files that I want. It'll select more than one file as I hold down control. Then I can right click and I can copy them. I'm gonna go over here to my thumb drive, my Word chapter one document, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste them in here. So there, there are the three pictures. So I got it, went ahead and moved them over there. You can use them just off your, if you want to, just off your downloads as well to put in there. But I went ahead and put them in the folder to keep everything in order. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back now to Word and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pictures. So here, these little picture icons over here on the left, you can go ahead and click on those. So now we're looking for Brownlee, that's the first one that I clicked on. So I'm gonna go ahead and say from file, and it's in my, again, it's in my uh, thumb drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my thumb drive to my Word chapter one folder, and there's Brownlee right there. So I got that and I can select it and hit uh, insert. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one, Oxbow Dam from file. It remembers where I went this time, which is nice, and I'm able to click Oxbow and click insert. Uh, the last one is Hell's Canyon, and I'm able to put that in in the same manner. So there's all my pictures. And now what I wanna do, currently this document is not the right name, right? So this is, I'm working in an old document. When you first open it up, you can save it in that new document. Uh, I'm saving it here at the end, so this is gonna be the same way no matter which way you do it. You're gonna hit File, Save As, uh, make sure you're in the right location. I am. I'm in my uh, flash drive in Word Chapter 1. I'm going to change that file name to 1-3 and hit Save. Now, I'll, now all I need to do is go to that file um, or go to Canvas, browse for that file, and upload it into the student check up Word 1-3 uh, assignment. Uh, link. So thanks and we'll talk to you later.